Over the years, billions of players have become a part of the Roblox community. Some joined briefly, only to never play again. Others become active players, engraving themselves in Roblox history forever. With a player base this big, it's inevitable that we have to witness some tragic losses. There have been multiple significant figures in the Roblox community that suddenly died, leaving everyone shocked and grieving. Even though they were tragically taken from us, they do leave behind one thing to remember them by, their games. The truth is that nearly every Robloxian has tried their hand at making a game, and today I'll be diving into the history and exploring these creations. Before we continue, a quick disclaimer. This video is intended purely for educational purposes, and each developer will be treated with respect. That being said, this video may cover some darker concepts so be warned. One of the most famous examples of a Roblox player who died is Eric Castle. A gifted mind, he was one of the co-founders of Roblox, which at the time was merely a husk of its current self. He played a key role in the development of the platform, working alongside fellow co-founder David Bazuki to build a technology and infrastructure that supports Roblox's vast user base today. Eric Castle passed away on February 11th, 2013 due to cancer. This death shattered the hearts of many Robloxians who rushed to pay their respects to the man who so many had looked up to. Memorial games were made, and various articles of clothing were created in his honor. Eric Castle's final game, at first glance, appears to be an almost empty base plate, but upon further inspection, it becomes clear that it's more than that. An empty base plate that rains cubes! Yeah, I'm, I'm not completely sure what this game was meant to be, but, but it's certainly fascinating to see. There's even something kind of eerie about it, knowing that this empty world was Eric's last contribution to Roblox. The second diseased Roblox player we will be covering today is Hero ESP, a well-respected developer in the Roblox community. Around December 25th, 2019, he allegedly died due to severe heart failure. At the age of 18, his death was announced by fellow Roblox player Spooeker. But if you're a researcher like myself, you might be thinking, but Hero ESP was just active recently. Well, his family now has access to his account, and they seem to lock Log on relatively frequently. Hero ESP's final game is called Adonis Admin House, and to me, this seems like the perfect final game. Everything from the lighting to the map just perfectly encapsulates what this Roblox player contributed to the community. Unlike the final game we will cover, this one was quite beautiful. I honestly recommend checking it out just to feel the presence of Hero ESP. Before we talk about the final Robloxian, I would like to give an honorary mention to the Roblox players who I could not mention in this video. While doing my research, I found some stories that were so sad and graphic that I didn't feel comfortable sharing them with you. It's not my place to share this information, but I'll link the article below where I found a lot of it. The final Roblox game we will be exploring is called Restolent Reality, a game made by developer Nimbles. Unlike the other two, this game is really creepy. Nimbles was a well-known developer whose game was featured in the 2020 egg hunt. Their family initially requested the cause of death to remain private, but Nimble's Twitter account posted a scheduled tweet on May 31st, 2020, linking to a secret tagged GitHub gist named Goodnight. To make it worse, it was later revealed that the cause of death was suicide. Nimble's final game was quite eerie, being described as nothing short of a nightmare. I'll let you see it for yourself. Yeah, it's pretty scary stuff, man. But all of these Robloxians, living or not, have made significant contributions to the platform. The only thing I can say for sure is that no matter what, they will not be forgotten. And I hope this video helps to keep their memory alive.